Brian Flores is a strong man. Miami Dolphins need Flores. Why do I say that? Cause not many coaches at the NFL dare to accept responsibility after the defeat, some even blame the players. Sometimes it's true, but it makes a difficult relationships and makes make the players nervous. Flores did not. He takes responsibility for the Dolphins' defeat, points out his own mistakes, and is trying to fix it. Flores said after the game, We talk about the defense, we talk about the special teams. You know, I didn't do a good enough job of getting them ready to go, so we talk about the coaching as well. But not only that, tell me, is there any coach in the NFL ready to defy any penalty from the NFL just to protect his players from a collision? Afters the game against Bengals. Head coach Brian Flores said, My emotions got the best of me there. You see somebody you care about get hit like that twice, but I have to do a better job and keep my poise better. We have to do a better job of keeping poise as a team. The people in this organization are very important to me. I'm going to try to protect players and coaches, but there's a better way to do that. Our team played well, won the game. Dot. Unfortunately we're talking about my situation, and that's what I don't like. Flores did vow to always stand up for his players. I'm going to stick up for my players. They're going to stick up for each other, strong personality, but not fuss and bragging. Please say Miami people. Flores is not simply a coach. One of the most powerful voices to make himself heard in the aftermath of the killing of George Floyd while Floyd was in the custody of the Minneapolis police was Dolphins head coach Brian Flores. Flores, who is black, released a statement that in part decried the lack of outrage from people of influence regarding the killings of Floyd, Amo Arbery and Breonna Taylor, who were African Americans, and it resonated not just in league circles but across the social platforms it was posted to. Current players, former players and those who never were under the watchful eye of Flores reposted and or responded to the coach's words. It also seemed to trigger others in similar positions across a variety of leagues to share their thoughts. That's as Dolphins head coach. I spend five hours to give my opinion in the video, but you can do it in just five seconds. Let me know your thoughts by commenting below. I always appreciate your opinion, even when you say I'm bad. Talk it 10 times and in 100 different videos. We all deserve our own voice.